Welcome everybody to another review conducted by the team at Auto Instruct. Today we're going to be doing a review of the OBD Auto Doctor Mac application in conjunction with the PLX Devices Kiwi 3, which is available through our online store. Now here we have the Mac application which I've just launched, and uh, I can go quick connect down here to connect to the Kiwi 3. Now I've already set it up in the uh, settings, so we'll see very quickly that the Kiwi 3 is connected to. Here we go, connected to the Kiwi 3 and detecting the OBD interface. Now we're working today in a 2013 Mazda 3 uh, as a demo vehicle, which is quite new and should support um, a lot of the uh, PID sensors. Now this is the first time we've actually been using this application in the vehicle and it's asked if we'd like to create a profile. So go ahead and say yes. So we're going to call this um, our Mazda 3. I'll exclude the license plate for now. This is a model year 13. And fuel type is gas. Uh, fuel correction can stay there. And here's some basic details, uh, which you should set up correctly if you want exactly the right settings. And now, a license plate, I'll just put an X, Y, Z, so it allows me to save. I'll save now. Now, on the home screen here, we can see that there's no engine codes, the readiness monitors are complete, and there's no trouble codes. So I'll just run you through the different options down the slide menu here. So firstly, under trouble codes, these pages would present um, confirmed and pending and permanent diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs. This vehicle uh, doesn't have any, so there's not much to actually show you here. We can go down diagnostics. Now this is also the trial version of this software, so I can't show you the full uh, functionality of it. However, we do have um, Redis monitors here, which you can see have been completed. Uh, these incomplete ones aren't compatible with the vehicle. There's no oxygen sensor monitors here, as it's not supported by the ECU of the vehicle. And there's other onboard diagnostic uh, monitors and their minimum maximum values down here. Going into diagnostics, sorry, monitoring. We've got our list of sensors. So if I go select sensors down here, we can see a whole list of vehicle sensors that can be um, uh, read by the vehicle. So to show you a couple of examples, I'll show you the engine RPM and intake air temperature. So if I click those and go OK, and go start, I get to see these values in real time up here. So it gives me the average max minimum um, of both values. And you can select as many sensors as you want. Now if I go sensor on grid graph, I can actually select uh, a couple of these. Uh, intake air temperature, for example, and hit start. And it'll actually graph the values that were presented in the first page. So if I sit here and actually rev the vehicle, you can see straight away the engine RPM going up and down. Now there's very little latency between the actual car revs and OBD Auto Doctor. You might be able to hear it, but looking at it, um, there's very little difference at all. There we are on our red line of the vehicle. So being on red line there, we should actually be able to see if I hit stop and go back to the sensors page and hit start. We'll see what our max RPM is here by redlining the vehicle. So we can see the max RPM of the vehicle is 6313. I'll try it again. Yeah, it's cutting off just under 64. So it's 6380 again, being our maximum RPM, and minimum is 640. We're well, 636 now on idle, which is pretty interesting to see. Stop, and then just down in the extra section is um, ECU info, uh, console, and a data log, uh, which you don't really need to go into too much. But this uh, this page here gives you a good idea of what uh, sensors the ECU is actually supporting and transmitting over the OBD protocol. Um, there's a lot to go through, but not every vehicle supports every single sensor and each vehicle is different. 
So it's very hard to actually for us to actually answer if you know will my car show the turbocharger RPM, for example. We don't know, um, unfortunately. Uh, you might be able to find out by doing some research online. Otherwise, yeah, the only way to find out is by actually testing an OBD scan tool like the Kiwi 3 on the vehicle and seeing what values are returned. So thanks for watching our video today on the OBD Auto Doctor Mac application in conjunction with the PLX Devices Kiwi 3. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment below or send us an inquiry through our website. For more guides, tutorials and reviews, head over to autoinstruct.com.au. Thanks for watching.